Yuoda Saka is a high school student who possesses a special ability to control the mind of another person for five seconds at a time. Although it seemed useless at first, Yu eventually made the most of his ability and cheated his way into an elite academy where he now maintains the false image of an academic prodigy. He is admired by his fellow classmates for his grades and good looks. Ignoring the advances of the other female students in the academy, Yu sets his eyes on Yumi Shirayanagi. Yu uses his ability to cause a large truck to speed towards Yumi as she crosses the street and he pushes Yumi out of the truck's path, saving her life but endangering countless civilians. As thanks for saving her life, Yumi asks you to eat pancakes with her. After that fateful encounter with Yumi, Yu is summoned to the student council room where the student council president reveals that Yu has been accused of cheating after getting a perfect score on an aptitude test. Under the threat of expulsion if he refuses to retake the exam in the room, Yu sits down to retake the exam and prove that his score was not a result of cheating. Yu possesses the student council president to look at what was allegedly his previous exam but all the student council president has in his hands is pornographic pictures. Infuriated, Yu rips the pictures to shreds with the student council president's hands. A girl by the name of Nao Tamori, who acts as the student council president of another school, captures this on camera and proves that Yu has been using his ability to cheat on exams. Despite being caught in the act, Yu refuses to back down, and eventually leaves school grounds. Meanwhile, Nao's companion, Jojiro Takeho, uses his own kind of pseudo-teleportation ability to pursue Yu. He manages to capture you after indiscriminately wrecking the town with his uncontrollable movements. Jojiro turns him into Nao, who urges him to transfer to their school, Hoshinomi Academy, because there are many other students with special abilities like him there. Yu refuses, but he is quickly subdued by Nao, who reveals her ability to make herself invisible to a single person and pummels him with impunity. Yu arrives at home where his younger sister, Ayumi, greets him. She tells him that she received the documents for his transfer to Hoshinomi Academy on a scholarship. The day after, the two siblings move to a high-rise condominium unit near the school. Yu meets with Yumi once again to talk about seeing each other in the future but Yumi decides that, given new circumstances brought about by Yu transferring schools, it is not feasible for them to date in the future. In the end, Yumi dumps Yu which leaves him crushed. Now and Jojiro visit Yu unannounced and they help the Otosakas move into their new apartment. Later that night, Yu also learns about the band How Low Hello, sung by a famous artist named Yusa Nishimori. That same night, Yu dreams about a mysterious boy walking alongside him and Ayumi, like the one Ayumi said often visited her dreams. Yu Otosaka begins his first day in Hoshinomi Academy with a healthy dose of Ayumi's omelette rice and a welcome from the school's student council president, Nao Tamori. Nao explains about the nature of the student body, which consists of people with even the smallest possibility of developing a special ability, and tells you that the school serves as a haven to them, preventing anyone from being turned into guinea pigs by groups of interest outside the school's influence. Now then points out that the duties of the school's student council involve securing those who manifest special abilities either to protect them or coerce them into not using their powers, such duties are given monetary compensation in return. Yu is later admitted into class 1b, joining Now and Jojiro's class, much to his chagrin. At lunchtime, as Yu realizes that he is going to eat the same thing as the night before, Jojiro takes him to the school cafeteria. The cafeteria is packed with students when they arrived, so Jojiro decides to use his ability to get a quick purchase of sandwiches for the two of them, at the expense of getting himself injured again, although he assures you that the armor he wears has protected him from most of the damage. After returning to their classroom, you notices that Nao seems isolated from the rest of the class. Jojiro explains to you that Nao has developed a negative image among her fellow female students due to her using her ability to enact violence, although he also clarifies that Nao was different during middle school. Suddenly, now summons you and Jojiro to the student council room, where a comrade of theirs, a student that is constantly dripping wet, momentarily shows the location of their next target, a thoughtography user from Namba High School. Now, you and Jojiro spend much of the day in Namba High School after receiving the report, asking about someone who is involved in photographs. Now eventually gets a lead and asks Jojiro to subdue a student who has photos of a schoolmate whose clothes are made transparent through some unusual means. The lead takes them to Udo from Class 2E, who now later discovers is the captain of the school's archery team. After taking additional evidence from his locker, now confronts Udo with some help from you and Jojiro on the sidelines. Udo initially acts innocent, but later admits that he uses the money he earns from creating indecent photos of his schoolmates to help his sick parents. Now soon warns Udo that his activities will bring danger to him and she urges him to stop using his abilities, and Udo hesitantly complies. Although their job for the day is done, Yu is still puzzled about the fate of Nao's older brother, which she said was her motivation for doing her duties as student council president. 
seeing that there is no point in hiding the truth, now takes you to the hospital where her older brother currently resides. Now begins to tell the story of her past. Now's brother was the first person to gain a special ability, and it happened around the time that she passed in an admission test to a middle school that would make it easy for her to gain access to a top national university. Her older brother, an aspiring musician, on the other hand, was pushing to get a debut on a major record label through his music. However just as he was about to get his debut, their mother forced the two to abandon their current plans in favor of studying in a boarding school, claiming that it would be advantageous financially. Now's brother strongly opposed her mother's advice, but they eventually followed her wishes after seeing her bow on her knees and plead for the first time. Now was able to live a smooth school life in the boarding school, aside from the occasional physical exam imposed on her. Meanwhile, she was unable to see her brother again. She later learns that her brother had the ability to vibrate the air at will, and his power was discovered, and later experimented upon by scientists, hoping to use the ability to develop communication jamming technology. A year after, now was able to see her brother again, but he was no longer the brother she knew. Now eventually learned that her friends at school were all fake and thus she ran away from school. You and now eventually arrived at the sanatorium where her older brother is being taken care of. In his current state, now's older brother tries to play the guitar and make music, although no longer in the same way as in the past. Now then tells you that a certain person has transferred his brother to a free of charge sanatorium and also admitted her to Hoshinomi Academy. She remains indebted to that person especially after scientists refused to look for ways to improve the condition of her brother and other people who suffered a similar fate. Learning of the story of Nao and her brother has brought fear in Yu's heart. He is worried that Ayumi would develop an ability as heredity dictates and she would share the same fate as Nao when she was in middle school. Meanwhile, after serving you with a dish that has a generous helping of the family's secret pizza sauce, Ayumi goes to check the stars that night, hoping that she might see a long-orbit comet soon. Ayumi makes omelette rice for you. He tries to tell her that he does not need her to make lunch for him anymore, however Ayumi insists since she already made it for him. Yu leaves his apartment and looks at the lunch Ayumi made for him. Yu smears the message that was written on the omelette rice and goes to school. After class, Jojiro uses his ability to hurry to the cafeteria causing a ruckus along the way. Yu then meets Jojiro in the cafeteria to see that he is covered in blood. After Yu eats lunch with Jojiro at the cafeteria, Jojiro gets a call from now summoning the two of them to the student council room. They are assigned to another job, which leads them to a user with two abilities, spiritism, which is the ability to allow a dead individual to possess the user's body, and pyrokinesis, the ability to set objects or people on fire. After investigating, the three come across popular singing idol and vocalist of the band Hallo Hello, Yusa Nishimori, who is being chased by someone. With the help of her friend Sho, they fight off her pursuer, finding out afterwards that Yusa has the ability to allow a dead person possess her body, and that she is currently possessed by her older sister Misa, who is pyrokinesis. Misa later explains that Yusa was being chased when she accidentally brought home the phone of a TV producer that contained incriminating evidence. Now says that even if she returned the phone, she won't be safe. Now devises a threatening plan to deal with the producer. That night, Yusa confronts the producer and turns into Misa, who threatens him before returning the phone to him. Afterwards, now informs Misa that she will have her and Yusa transferred to Hoshinomi Academy saying that the condo next to their school will be the safest place in all of Japan for her. When she agrees, Sho confesses his 